Hey girlies, welcome back to another video. It's a girl Christina Fashion and if you're new to my channel, welcome, welcome, welcome and join the Girl Boss Crew. This channel is all about lifestyle entrepreneurship, so that's your thing. Don't forget to hit the like button and subscribe so you don't miss out on weekly videos. In today's video, I want to talk with you guys about my recent jewelry collection launch called the Dream Collection. I recently launched it two weeks ago and I just want to share with you guys my experience on what I went through from A to Z, what the process looked like from getting your inventory to creating the campaign to launching it. So I figured I would sit down with you guys, have a little chit chat of my experience with that launch and let you know what I did, what marketing strategy I use to create hype around my brand to gain sales that week. So if you're interested, grab a glass of wine or a bag of chips and let's get started. Before we get started, I want to shout out the jewelry I'm wearing for today. As you can see, I am kind of dripped down wearing some dainty, high quality jewelry from this brand called Ana Luisa. And I figured I should start actually showing, you know, the jewelry I'm wearing, especially that way if anyone is wondering, they can know. As you know, I like to rock other brands, not only my own. So today I figured I would show you guys what I'm wearing. I'm actually and I'm gonna give you guys an up close view of what I'm wearing. I'm wearing the Lisa bracelet. And this one is just beautiful, very feminine, very dainty. It's a 14K gold plated jewelry um, made with brass as well. And yes, it is high quality jewelry. You know, I've talked about high quality material on here, especially that we are running brands and we, we just love high quality jewelry. On my fingers, I am wearing the Song Gold Ring. This one is just beautiful. It gives me such a luxurious vibe. I just love the circle, small little details on here. It's just giving me everything. And then I am wearing the Temple Green necklace. And it has, you know, the gold details on the rim. And it just has a nice pop of color, which we are rocking this summer. You know I'm a neutral girl, but I figured this summer I would start experiencing more with a little bit of pop of color like orange, green, even just pink. I also want to show you guys another piece. I'm actually not wearing it, but it is the Ana Luisa Joseph. I hope I am saying that right, necklace. And this is very nice and lightweight, classy me trendy. Um, I just love the details on here. They pride themselves in sustainability, high quality, and, and even fair pricing. So their jewelry starts around $39. And if you're interested, I'll leave my link below for 10% off your order. If you guys have been with me for a while now, you know I recently have ordered new inventory. And this will be my second launch. My second? Yeah, my second biggest launch for my brand. As you know, um, I started my brand about last year or 2019 is when I started my brand and it was basically more of a relaunch originally I was selling sunglasses now I am selling jewelry but jewelry with purpose and I figured that is something I am more passionate about not only selling jewelry with purpose but also keeping it classy keeping it trendy and also using my creative skill to create art on jewelry so that was one of the reasons why I started my brand so for this second collection this was dedicated the dream collection this was dedicated to creating a foundation for what my brand is about. I created four pendants with affirmational quotes. I really wanted to do this just to create the tone for my brand and to have classic pieces that can go along with any of my jewelry that's on my website. I picked four quotes that resonate with me, with women overall. So once I picked the four quotes, I sent the sketches to my manufacturer and I sent them the size of the pendant i sent them like the length of the necklace and i pretty much sent them a mock-up using canva i don't have a graphic software where i'm able to create jewelry from scratch and that is not my skill i'm not good at that i i'm not good with like technical software uh, i would have to hire someone out for that but i did what i can do by going on canva playing around with the shapes getting the words on there playing around with the color just getting a basic vision for what I want my necklace to look like 
once I did that I sent it into my manufacturer and this manufacturer I've been working with them for a while now they have high quality jewelry pieces are water resistant they're just high quality gold plated jewelry and I like that about them and they only work with that material piece only and I've mentioned in my past video you only want to work with manufacturers that particularly works with one type of jewelry that way you're not confused by all the different verbiage that they have on their storefront when you're looking to work with high quality materials so that's what i usually best recommend and once they had it they were able to go ahead and basically start working on it start on production i asked for this time 200 pieces so that meant i had 50 pieces per drawing or per necklace per design you know that was all finalized i paid the invoice try to make all your payments all your messagings on their site that way you're protected once um that was done then you know it took a while to, so it took a week or two for them to get back to me to let me know how production was going and one thing i always asked for if i can't get the the sample in time because at this point I don't really ask for a sample and since I've been working with them for a while I trust their quality what I would do is I would ask for a picture of one of the samples or all four and once I like the sample piece I would approve it or not if I approve it then production keeps on going if not I can make my changes then and there instead of waiting for them to ship out the product then there'll be a problem and then I have to go back and ship it or they have to redo it it's better to just do it while it's in process so once it was approved I had to wait for like about a month and then once you know I got my inventory I had recently did a video showing the breakdown of my inventory so don't forget to watch it after this video. Once I got my inventory, I just made sure I counted all my pieces, made sure there was about 50 in each bag. I made sure there was no error. Even though I asked for a picture in the beginning for approval, you still wanna double check and count to see if you have any missing pieces. If you have a little bit of more piece, you know, maybe they miscounted and add a little bit of more for you. Uh, or if there's any drawings or if there's any artwork that's upside down, if any of the pieces are upside down. I've had that situation before where one of my pieces were upside down. I didn't really call them out on it just because it was just one and I wasn't really tripping about it. But anytime I order in the future, I always make sure and I not let them know to double check and inspect each piece is before they put it in the bag all that was done once i counted everything you know i went and added everything on my site and during this time was for me to create the content create the product image and add them to my site and one problem i was just having was i couldn't get the product photography right like i was trying to shoot it on a white background i had my camera I had my I had my Canon camera and I just couldn't get the right image on a white background. I'm like, what am I doing wrong? Well, particularly with this camera, it only shoots from afar. And with jewelry, you got to shoot close up. So you got to zoom in as close as you can to see the full detail of it. So this camera just wasn't doing me justice. So I figured I had to do the right thing it was to hire someone to shoot the product photography for my jewelry i found someone on fiverr and this was my first time using fiverr once i approved of the editing i basically went and added all the images on my site and everything looks seamless looks so good and looks so professional honestly it was really worth paying the amount for these images because think about it you're just investing into your business into yourself and Imagine if I didn't do that, like my images wouldn't look nice. I wouldn't have been satisfied. I would have still been tweaking with the website, trying to figure out why it's not looking right, still reshooting. So sometimes when you can't do something, when you figure out your weakness, you just have to hire someone to do that for you. As far as my content goes, I did use Canva to create some of my graphics um, for my jewelry collection to kind of bring hype, to kind of bring color to my feed. So I used that to help me with my graphic. And I'll insert a picture here so you can see what I'm talking about. And if you want me to do a tutorial on this particular type of graphic, 
comment below let me know if you want to see this tutorial and i'll definitely make a separate video on how i did that step but essentially how i come up with ideas is basically just relating it back to your mission to what your brand is about you know my brand's all about empowering women so that's why my dream collection was more affirmational and my first collection was my black girl magic collection because i really wanted to empower my customer my audience and mine after my website was good my images were good then i was creating lifestyle with my iphone tiktok is where i get my second most purchase from a lot of times i'll create a video bring awareness to my products and people would purchase as long as i'm telling my story giving the reasons why i created my product and people would just purchase so i definitely recommend getting tiktok for your business you can't go wrong tiktok is a place where you can easily grow as long as you're being consistent i'm not as consistent as i could be but i'm getting there i'm getting the last thing i had to do was think of my marketing strategy for this collection i went a little simple than i usually do usually when i'm launching i'm going live i'm interacting a lot more face to face with my customers and i highly recommend that but that ain't happened for me this time as you know life happens and i was just very busy trying to get a lot of things done behind the scenes which is personal life work life you know with school so just to keep myself sane and make sure i had a good nice launch ran a facebook ad as well to kind of touch base with my followers running a retargeting ad on facebook and i started learning about facebook ads while i was waiting on my inventory and waiting for my photographer to get back with me about the pictures i was learning so much as i can through a facebook ad course and i actually you know took everything i learned and i applied it on this first facebook ad i have ran facebook ad in the past but they were all failed attempts this time around i was quite successful at it i was quite shocked myself but i applied everything i learned and i actually got a purchase conversion from it and i was excited i will put the screenshot somewhere here so you can see that i also got five more added to cards which didn't result in purchases but that is impressive for my first ad and just launching it with before my launch i brought so much awareness and traffic to that ad in my website and also emailing my subscribers through my newsletter just using all those platforms and channels and a bundle sell for my collection i got so much feedback so much love for my new collection and so many people were like excited to purchase and i was sharing those feedback through my stories so that way can create a ripple effect of other people you know wanting it as well and me to my launch date i know many of you guys will be curious to know if my launch date did well if i made sales i did do sales it was quite slow than what i expected i'm not gonna lie with you guys i want to be honest on this channel whether you know i do well or i fail it's good for me to share my successes and my failure with you guys i received so much feedback and i was waiting for a floodgate of people to purchase the first day and that wasn't it but i did do well in purchases and sales that day though but i will tell you this you may get a lot of people excited for your collection but that doesn't mean you stop from there you have to keep it going you have to be consistent even after your launch date as you keep on posting you keep on posting the reason for the collection the reason for the necklace to keep educating keep entertaining maybe they weren't ready on launch day but they'll probably be ready in a week or two you just got to keep promoting your product your brand even when it's slow because you don't know how many people are waiting for you to show that you care about your product that way they can go ahead and make the purchase thank you guys for tuning in with me i know this video has been a little bit shaky and i do quite apologize for the quality i hope you learned something about my launch day and it will help you for your own launch day in the future and don't forget to like subscribe and as well don't forget to check out anna louisa for your 10 percent off code so you can rock these beautiful jewelry pieces and trip that i have on and the link will be below and thank you and have a good day